What's good with all my troops? It's your boy 529 Dev, aka the Lieutenant, and I am back. <laughs> Merry Christmas. With another video, man, as y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail, today I will be reflecting on my personal favorite outfits of this year, 2022. I know the year's not over yet, and I'll probably pull off a couple more fits that I with but for the most part i feel like i had a real good run this most definitely my strongest year overall as far as fit picks looking back on it i was pretty locked in bro i'm not even gonna lie that's why i feel like this video is a must and also because of the fact i feel like a lot of my fits are pretty slept on i thought why not look back reflect and also just give you guys my thought process behind all of them i went through my ig and chose 10 of my favorite fits it wasn't easy i'm not gonna lie it was a couple i uh, wanted to put in here but i had to cap it off at 10 i feel like anything more than that would have low-key been a drag but that just means the 10 that i have is a super solid lineup but yeah that's basically what we're gonna be doing today welcome back to vlogmas day two the grind not stopping at all i literally just got done responding to one of y'all asked me in the comment section on a previous video if i had a job and i told him exactly what it is i responded saying i got two jobs besides this youtube and my clothing brand and it's just crazy because i don't like coming on here saying that but that whole thing specifically is something i just do what i gotta do because my end goal is just to be able to do youtube and work on my brand full time without having to do anything else but right now, besides working for somebody else, I really don't have any source of income. You gotta start somewhere. And even though it's not easy, I'm more than willing to put in the work because I know in the long run, it's gonna be very much worth it. Speaking of work though, before I left to go today, I saw a package sitting at my doorstep as I was walking out the crib. But everything going on, I just had totally forgot about what was coming in the mail today. And I was happy as hell once I figured out exactly what it was. So excited that I almost ripped the package completely open. I was just so in the moment, bro. But like halfway through, I'm like, I gotta show the troops and give them a live reaction because i'm trying to just record every little thing obviously besides work that's just something i'm definitely not gonna do but anyways right here is the package outside of the box itself we finna do a little unboxing got my scissors right here wait technically this not even an unboxing it's an unbubble wrapping so yeah i guess just cut this opening i don't even remember the last time i did an unboxing on this channel i'm gonna keep it a bug i did ask don't even know if i ever done one bro i'm not even gonna lie but hey there's a first for everything what oh my god Gosh, these shits look sexy, bro. All right, bro, I'm finna reveal them to you in three, two, one. As you guys can see right here, we got some stickers. Look at the way these shits just shining, bro. The sizing and everything. I don't think it could have came out any better. For those of you guys that are new to the channel, this is my brand's logo. I just had to get some stickers done. Godly form a promo. Niggas don't be making any stickers like this, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these to get them out to you guys. It's possible that I'm gonna give them away with orders when you purchase something off my website. But then again, I do have a couple other ideas. I don't know for sure, but I'll make my decision soon. If you wanna stay updated with that, go follow me on Instagram. And then my brand's IG is SSL.Glory. So on either one of those, it'll be posted. Nah, bro, these shits feel nice as hell. The quality, I'm definitely gonna get these a 10. I gotta throw this shit on my MacBook right now, actually. Right now, all I have is this OG PlayStation sticker. Shit blank as hell, but I'm finna put this on there. If I'm keeping it a buck, really what I wanna do is just place mad at these on here for real. Holy shit these shits is sticky as hell well i guess i can't replace it that's not a complaint either if you copping a sticker you want that shit to stay on whatever you placing it on this shit dead ass stain this right here is how it looks on my macbook nah this shit is just hard bro let me stop talking about this though we finna get straight into the video let's see what dev thinks his favorite fits are from 2022 this nigga even got swag for real so for the order of the fits it's not gonna be by my favorite i'm doing it by the month like bro there was a couple fits for each month that i had to choose between but i'm gonna let y'all know which month each fit was from so for this first one obviously it is from january we're gonna start up at the top we got this red pink and white la Ropa beanie this was actually my first ever purchase from la Ropa, even though i knew about them since like 2018 like the very beginning before these niggas even got as known as they are now just based off the fact that i'm cool as hell with like the very first guy to work with the people who own la Ropa. but yeah i just never copped anything until i went to the store in nyc i actually copped it in a video i recorded i was doing what are people wearing it was actually the same day Lil Tecca met me yeah that was a pretty cool day he came up to me asking to be in a vid guess he wanted to flex his fit i don't know but yeah this beanie right here is cool i am trying to steer away from any brand besides mine but i don't want to get too deep into that because throughout this video you're gonna see i have on a lot of different brands cycle going end soon though for sure but moving down i have one this rick owens mountain hoodie in black i actually don't own this hoodie no more i feel like it became very cringe everybody just throws that shit on with wax denim ramones and just thinks they're fly but even though i do pull this 
it off way different than everybody else. But I really genuinely didn't even feel like holding on to it. I did get some good wear out of it though. A couple cool fits. This one, for example. I just love the way it looks with this specific fit. For the bottoms, I threw on some Japanese leather pants. Hella pockets and silver designs throughout the whole pant. And then for the feet, I had to go vintage Prada with it. Amidi just go crazy with the silver accents on the pants the zipper on the mallet hoodie the spike bracelet i got on my rings vivian on the earrings and then of course the classic prada tag on the tongue which is pretty subtle but i do pay attention to every little detail so you know i purposely threw on the red and pink beanie to go with those i ain't even go with a crazy background for these fit picks just pick the nice gray wool because i feel like the fit itself is some eye candy and it speaks for itself this definitely was a super clean fit to start off 2022 moving on to the next fit which i did put together in february up top i got like this dry fit snow camo zip up i thrifted this a while back i feel like this is probably something that actual hunters use for real but that alone wasn't going to do justice i layered it up with this fur vest for the pants we got on the jacob six pocket cargoes and then i ended it off with some af1s rare af1s at that you won't be seeing niggas with these and i caught them for 33 beans not to brag or anything but y'all do not shop like me i didn't really do accessories with this one but i did throw on some glasses i caught from the mall the whole thought process behind this fit wasn't nothing too crazy i just had caught these cargoes and i really wanted to put it fit together i just started putting shit on and i really like the way that this zip up one with the bone color on the cargo because in general white looks cool with beige but it's kind of hard to pull off in my opinion because it kind of looks wild the thing that sealed the deal for me though was the brown trees on it because i feel like that brown and white just goes perfectly with the color on the cargo and then i threw on the fur vest and i'm like it's really some hunter ass zip up and what do niggas be hunting bro animals with fur so once that sunk in i'm like yeah this is a must i gotta throw this on started trying on sneakers to go with it and i just felt like the AF ones went best and then i got this fit which i really really do like being honest with myself i do feel like the scenery could have been a lot better but that's just me being hard on myself which i am very very often because this one's not bad at all but the next fit which i flicked up in in march the thermal was something that i thrifted it reads out an eye for an eye only ends up making the whole world blind which is a quote that i really like i got a few sides of me though that might be my little sweet side because unfortunately i do have another side that might want to take three lives for one eye if y'all niggas pay attention for real you would know that's something i threw in a song because that's a fact bro you take one eye i'm taking it extreme bro i'm not gonna speak too much on that though i throw on this beige jacket with like this crop fit i really do like the way it flowed on my body all these buttons and shit. i couldn't zip it up it would just look dirt and then it would defeat the purpose of the graphic on the thermal just throwing some black skinnies because the black long sleeve itself was pretty tight you know me just taking proportions into consideration i threw on my easy desert boots which are pretty fat i'm not gonna lie and that's exactly why i threw this jacket on because they are both pretty boxy and it literally just evens everything out accessories I want to leaks on the neck. Montclair for the eyewear. Coach Star earrings. I'm actually wearing those right now. These are like my favorite. But yeah, this fit right here is definitely one of them ones. Just every little detail because y'all probably didn't even peep. The whole reason I wanted to throw on these Montclair goggles was inspired by the quote on the tee. And it just makes sense. Everything I do makes sense. And it has reasons behind it. Now, next up in line, we done skipped a couple months. Don't get me wrong. I was going crazy in between that little gap. Y'all could go to my Instagram to see for yourself. This one right here, though, is from July. I genuinely love this fit, bro. It's so chill but at the end of the day is me and it resembles another side of me the t is a brand called awesome if you guys aren't familiar with it it's a skating brand they worked with supreme for a while i'm not really 100 percent sure about their relationship or what they do for each other or anything like that all i know is that my first ever fucking awesome tea i did purchase straight out of supreme but this was years ago though bro like 2017 i don't think they're still selling it but this specific tea i did thrift the godly thrift find dark low demon kit with black eyes and like a backyard and the fact that the brand's name is awesome pretty self-explanatory why it's on the front of the tee even though it's their brand and they mostly just put this on every single tee that they make i honestly love the placement for this specific graphic and me just putting it on is just reminding everybody that i'm fucking awesome for the bottoms i went olive green cargoes with a flare just to lay magnificently over the rick owens ramones the abstracts though we can't be doing regular dark shadow i don't be trying to match crazy but you do got to pay attention to the correlation and colors the black obviously because the t-shirt itself is black and then the green on the cargoes because you see the kid is out in nature like a backyard or something so obviously there's trees grass which is green and that's exactly why these cargoes complemented i went to leaks once again this time for the backpack though got some earmuffs on holding the vintage vhs cam which i got sitting right here he's hanging from my loop i feel like this all just adds to like a old retro kind of vibe in a way this is definitely a very slept on outfit which is why i had to throw this in the vid these flicks just look like i went back in time for a little bit that's a real life turn i'm not even gonna lie this actually was after prom too for those of y'all that don't keep up with the videos but yeah even though it looks real cool this was not something that i just thought so much about i tell y'all this all the time i literally came to the crib from prom and picked out this outfit in like five minutes ran out the crib because we was rushing we had to
to catch the party bus. I didn't have time to do too much. But with my gifted sauce, I was able to put this together. And now I got a godly fit for the books. Now halfway through my favorites of this year, in August, I put together this phenomenal outfit. Just the way everything flows just looks amazing to me, bro. For the top, I threw Versace on my chest. I layered it with this vest-like top. I don't even know what this is considered. But I just like the fabric that's hanging from the bottom of it. It just adds character to the fit itself because you really don't see this too often. Nah, never mind on the too often. I really don't even think I ever saw somebody rocking this shit. Unless it was like some cowboy movie or like some Indiana Jones shit. Where specific cowboys wore vests similar to this. Not the same exact thing at all though. But hey, maybe the designer of this shit it had inspo from that time period who knows i for sure don't but moving down we got these ppfm bondage pants it's like a grayish or light blue but you can't really tell from a distance you have to look close because they are pinstripe i think it actually is navy but it's also mixed with white which makes it look kind of grayish the bondage straps going from the back belt loops to the front and just flowing the way they do just match the vibe of that little vest i just got finished explaining y'all could see it in the photos that's why i feel like the fit is this appealing to me on the feet i decided to end it off with the marnie loafers so the leaks necklace on with some rings but that's all normal this outfit is honestly like super chill if you really think about it i'm dead ass strolling in some loafers and a t-shirt just with my own soul somehow i got this along with this godly scenery like there's no way anybody watching this is putting me in a box bro who's rocking versace in 2022 unless it's some scammer nigga rocking chain react you're not seeing it at all but hey this is me being me right, now for the sixth fit which is probably my favorite of all time and i'm not even dragging it bro i'm being dead ass serious it's most definitely because of the fact that i created these shorts and it took me so much time to do bro and i was just so happy with the results seeing them on body and just revealing them to you guys and the feedback just felt super good to me because everybody loved these shits. it was something that's never been done before but since i'm talking about them and some of you guys may be new to the channel and you're like where are these shorts from what are they what are you talking about these were actually made by me under my brand saint still lives aka sso i fully distressed and repaired some light blue denim I added some dark blue contrast denim to flare them and give them a more relaxed and baggy fit rather than being skinny jorts with which would have looked as well they actually did look bad i tried on a lot of different variants these weren't the only ones i made it was a whole trial and everything and getting this outcome right here is what i was really happy with as you can see in the front i have a hole with some blonde fur coming out of that hole i feel like i couldn't have chosen a better fur because this blonde just goes beautiful with the light blue bro the back of these shits is just gonna hit every single time i look at them bro not even to be on some cocky shit, bro but from the standpoint of an artist looking at your shit and the final product it's just always gonna do something to me bro i can't speak for every artist but like i said for me personally it just feels good to look at and really think like i created this shit, bro but yeah for the back pockets i really didn't want to do the same thing for each of them even though it is the same pattern i just decided to invert one of them make the other one upside down moving down i fully distressed and never repaired them overall of that i stitched stay true into each side of the leg which you can read just to remind niggas to be themselves and stop trying to copy niggas it's dumb as bro you was put here to be you it's cool to have inspiration and all that and just find what really resonates with you but to be copying and pasting other niggas sh it's just fucking lame to say the least so this upcoming year 2023 stop it the find is just beautiful too it matches the vibe and i know you like it too but um good luck trying to find it because i went straight to the pen and pad and created this file on my own so it's gonna be impossible but yeah moving on with the fit besides these beautiful ssl shorts threw on this white eve Saint Laurent polo the light blue stripes just go with the denim and you guys can see there's dark blue stripes which again go perfectly with not only the flares but also the words on the back and the whole idea of me mixing ysl with ssl is something that i can't even explain with words i feel like a lot of people miss that but really it's godly to say the least for the feats i decided to throw on my white roa hiking boots i wanted to keep it simple but also make sense at the end of the day because it's clear as day that the white on the feet go at the top realistically there's not too much going on the shorts i made were the statement piece and i really wanted to showcase that with this outfit i feel like it was executed perfectly this for sure top three now in september i'm not even gonna lie i went crazy again i got on another piece that i made i used the same concept and inspo of the shorts that i just explained to you guys but i decided to do that on a denim jacket and i felt like white denim would be the best to do that with so that's exactly what i did i distressed the whole thing to add that contrast i did it with black stitching also added black fabric underneath and for the whole idea that i came up with with fur breaking through the fabric i decided to do that this time with black fur instead that white and black contrast is just everything bro this jacket is just amazing and i feel like i don't even have to tell you guys that or explain it too much it truly truly does speak for itself bro now again since this is the statement piece for the bottom i wanted to keep it basic i threw in some white denim that i had sitting around um which just so happened to be some true religion one of my favorite brands of all time mark my words right now because sslx true religion is gonna be a collab that's coming in the very near future and it's just gonna fuck shit 
up in the most gorgeous way possible. And I can't wait for the world to see. For the feats, I feel like I couldn't have done it any more perfectly than to throw on the Marnies because both those and the jacket have to do with some animal fur. It just adds that nice little subtle touch because even though they are very expensive, designer, this, that, and the third, at the end of the day, they're loafers, bro. So it's always gonna give that chill vibe. This fit definitely in that top three as well. Not even an argument. Even though I do tend to look past my own fits because it's me putting them on, I know for my outsider looking in, it's probably a lot more crazy. I don't know. Maybe I could be chatting. Maybe I look at this shit like, damn, this fit is booty. What the f do I know? I had a nice little run of fits with my own brand incorporated. But back to the consumer side, which is unfortunate because I just want to have unlimited SSL, bro. But that's coming soon. So I got to appreciate these fits for now because they're still insane. I'm not even going to lie. The art behind this is just crazy. I could just tell, bro. Like, look where the f I'm at. But we're here to talk about the fit, right? We're here to talk about the fit. Up top, I have this most supreme jacket i think this is a piece from full winter 2016 probably even before that to be honest so don't quote me but i'm gonna just say 2016 to play it safe this definitely was the statement piece for this outfit for the pants i just went black flare denim and then ended it off with some classic black tims i keep catching myself saying this shit, but it's just so true like this fit the pictures the scenery everything just speaks for itself bro caption if y'all don't follow me on the gram i'm gonna just read it out for you lazy ass niggas bro i said suddenly everything turned gold for me shining like the sun white lights cover me like what the fuck, bro like I, I made a promise to myself i'm gonna be as transparent as possible with y'all this is literally just my own thoughts and i'm not even as vulnerable with people i talk to so please i beg y'all do not take this as cockiness bro i'm just keeping it real and just thoughts that i have on my own not trying to gas myself or anything i'm just trying to keep it 100 percent authentic this is art the fit is not even the craziest thing in the world bro so many niggas just go on grill cop number nine rig leaks helmet lang like i could go on for days at a hype beast where niggas just think they fall into the category of fashion and archive all this extra bullshit bro like y'all niggas are not being yourself bro everybody says be yourself and even the people that say that shit aren't being themselves bro that shit literally just irks the fuck out of me bro but i can literally comfortably say that i'm myself just based off the fact that all you have to do is go on my instagram and see that niggas are not putting shit together like this yes i know i cop certain shit that's popular i even just named a couple brands that i myself own but i'm most definitely not wearing that shit like the masters are bro and that's just a fact that's exactly why i push myself so hard to just continue doing what i'm doing because i know with doing that only positive outcomes gonna come with it i'm only 19 i'm not at my fullest form yet i have a lot more growing to do but overall i feel like i'm in a very very good spot second to final fit right here which i actually put together in a video not too long ago where i styled an outfit with a trench coat for the first time ever and then i ended up taking pictures on my own and show you guys that process and how to do it all right hold up bro i think i need a couple seconds it's currently 1 23 a.m i'm starting to see a little bit i'm not gonna drag it because it's not crazy at all but the fact that this just happened i just want to share with y'all bro literally last night well not even last night at this point it was yesterday morning it was like 4 or 5 a.m i was literally grinding that lookbook video that i put out for y'all like bro up late as that day i woke up at eight like i told y'all earlier i worked my two jobs i even recorded the video in the same day i didn't take no type of naps and i just had to put everything into that video because i had work in the morning and i made a promise to y'all i'm gonna do this vlogman so i'm gonna make it work by any means possible but yeah i just had to share that because my eyes is fake glitching i know you guys have gotten upset with me in the past for not being super consistent and i know bro i apologize but with that i just want you guys to know it has nothing to do with my dedication and love for this shit. It's just got to do with health, time. I just don't have unlimited time. I got to make shit work with what I got. Make sure I'm making bread to put into these videos and to the clothes because I got to do everything top tier, bro. I can't be putting out bullshit art that's just not in me all right but off that little rant i feel a little bit better uh let's get back on track so for the fit obviously i got on the trench coat below i got like this knitted sweater with holes in it i'm not even 100 sure if that's knitted so don't hold me to that i don't got shit on underneath it i went shirtless like i'm a legend one in 2k16 with no tats either because i spent all my vc on boost only real niggas gonna get those references bro but moving down i got on these brown bell bottom jeans it was made with like a corduroy material and holding them up i got on this leather true religion belt which i tend to wear very very often because it's black like i told y'all that's like one of my favorite brands it just goes with everything you see that leather like material just shining the same exact way the abstract ramones are on my feet details is just continuing to speak to me bro if it's not speaking to you let me just guide you a little bit bro look look at the ramones right look at the structure of the soul now what you want to do is go up top a little bit and look at all of these panels just drooping on this trench coat and tell me that doesn't go together like two peas in a pod that's exactly what the 
I mean when I say this shit is talking to me because I promise y'all niggas that's the first time I ever said two peas in a pod. So yeah, I guess there's nothing much else to say. The scenery just goes with this unknown aesthetic I created. I'm holding a fucking cross and shit, bro. Like, who would have thought? And let's not forget I took these pictures on my own. Literally, bro, with a tripod. And it came out fucking amazing. I just want to be proof that you niggas should not be making excuses, bro. If it's something you want to do, and I mean anything, bro. I'm not just talking about fashion or anything that I do in my personal life. I'm talking about yeah, bro. If you want to build a robot that changes your tire when you get a flat because you don't want to learn how to do that, go build that shit, bro. You got the time to do it. Just figure that shit out, nigga. I'm not even trolling, bro. That's on God. But yeah, let's move on to the last and final fit of this video. It's actually going to be my most recent on IG. Up top, I have this white zip up with light blue and dark blue bandana print designs on it. I'm pretty sure there's a more technical term besides bandana print, but what the f do I know? All I know is I really like the way it looks. Over there, I threw on this long black jacket, which is super f warm, not to mention. That has fur on the hood. I haven't had one of these jackets in mad long, bro. And when I say mad long, I'm talking like a kid, like elementary, probably even before that, bro. If I even ever owned one of these. But I just like the way that it looks, bro. I just throw on a hoodie, I got fur on me, like, not to toot my horn or nothing, but that looks hard, bro. But since it's black, I had to throw on my black true religion belt, because throughout the whole fit, there's nothing else that's gonna match that. For the pants, I throw on these light blue Japanese denim that are amazingly distressed. They even got like white paint splatters on them. A couple zippers, like on the side and i'm just really happy that i fit these now because now i could rock them a couple months ago when i bought them off grill they didn't fit i even put them back on grill to sell but nobody bought them which obviously i was sad about then one day a couple weeks ago i put them on and they fit and i'm like yo what the like it's obvious that means i lost weight bro because these pants didn't even go over my thighs bro like i don't think they went over my knees and it's just crazy because i know i be in the gym but i can't really tell that i'm like losing weight you feel me i wake up and look at myself in the mirror every single day i feel like i'm the same exact nigga bro and then shit like this happens and obviously just proves that i'm doing something right anyways i decided to finish off this fit with my white roa hiking boots the only accessory i threw on which you guys probably don't even notice is my white g-shock on my right wrist i don't even know if that's the problem proper hand for me to put it on like there's so much shit that you're supposed to do bro who the f woke up one day and said yeah men are supposed to put their watches on their left wrist like nigga what so if i want to put my shit on my right wrist because i think it's more swaggy then i'm gonna do that like what and i'm forever living by my rules and what i think is right but yeah man i really really do like this outfit i feel like it was slept on on the gram i got my likes on ig hidden and all that so i'm not gonna speak too much on my analytics but this like count was definitely below average and i don't know why maybe niggas just hating because i really do like this outfit it is definitely more on the casual side, but if you guys do follow me, I started posting more shit like that. Just to show y'all that these niggas that be posting in designer 24-7 is just unrealistic, bro. And that just goes back to me saying that I want to be 100% authentic. With what I'm putting out to you guys, whether it be Instagram, YouTube, whatever social media platform, it doesn't matter. Even in person when I meet y'all, that's just who I am, bro. I can't stress it enough. Because, bro, the whole facade shit on social media is a huge pet peeve of mine, bro. Like, I don't know why niggas do shit like that. It just irks me. I just want the niggas that fuck with me to see the real but yeah real cool fit this post in general though i just wanted to get out to you guys that ssl mob got their own hand sign now so if you jack in the movement i'm gonna need y'all to throw this up i'm not even finna explain how this symbolizes ssl i just want y'all to know what i'm throwing up when you see this shit. and if you was jacking ssl in the movement prior i'm just playing y'all on how to continue this shit. that's itself forever the movement but yeah man those are my 10 favorite outfits from the year 2022 like i told y'all earlier this was undoubtedly my best performed year as far as outfits and it's only gonna keep progressing bro i can't wait to see what i end up doing in 2023 i know there's gonna be one huge difference though and that's the fact that it's gonna be a lot a lot more ssl garments rather than me just consuming brands that are already up they's already made it bro it's my turn that's exactly what y'all gonna see but uh it's getting late it's I gotta get me some sleep so I could wake up and edit this vid for y'all. I'm honestly even thinking about editing this a little bit before I nod. Am I crazy for that, y'all? Nah, I don't think so. But yeah, if you watch it to this point of the video, I really do want to say I appreciate you. About a week ago, I accomplished one of my most important goals. I ain't gonna say too much. All I'm gonna tell y'all is don't skip ads. Just don't do the guap blocking bullshit. Hold it down. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Maybe learned a little something new about my thought process behind putting together all the fits that you guys see on Instagram. Yeah, just on Instagram because there's probably because there's probably a handful of outfits that I wore and I just never flicked up and I just never flicked up into remember what I had on. So how would I even know if they're considered to be a possibility of my favorite outfit? Anyways, man, go down below or to my Instagram and let me know what type of videos you guys want to see for vlogmas. Y'all the one watching these videos, so why not just tell me what the hell y'all like? Just make it easier for the 
of both of us, you feel me? I mean, obviously I have to agree with it in order to create it, but come on, my nigga, make it easier for the both of us. Real shit though, man, but it's been your boy 529 Dev. Fly up becoming YouTuber, and until next time, I am out. Peace.